So let's do a quick example of how we actually calculate this charge. So to calculate our charge, um, we're given a current. We know that current for this circuit looks like I of T with a climbing current of 12 T amperes. Um, how much uh, charge has passed through this point in the circuit from T0 to T3? Assume that the initial charge, initial charge is zero, right? So we can just go back and use that a relationship that we said that Q is gonna look like the integration from zero to T of our I of T function. And we'll make this a T prime function, T, T prime plus our initial value. I'm just gonna simplify this a little bit and call this Q naught, right? That's this Q over here. This tells me that Q naught, our initial charge is zero, right? We can just plug in what we know. If we wanna know this function here, we can say, hey, that looks like 12 T and we'll make it T prime integrating from zero to T plus zero. That's gonna look like T squared, T prime squared over two times 12. And we're gonna evaluate that at zero and T, which means, hey, our function here just looks like Q as a function of time and let's just clean that up a little bit. Our Q as a function of time starts to look like, hey, this is just six T squared. We're saying how much charge has passed through. Now this is the charge that has passed through the circuit in three seconds, right? So we're saying, hey, what is this charge at three seconds? Okay, well, that's just gonna look like six times three squared or 54. And because the units that we're working on uh, using our amps, and we're talking about time, dt is in seconds, we can say, okay, well, this is amps uh, times seconds. We're integrating this. This is gonna look like a Coulomb, right? Remember that an amp, is a coulomb per second. So for multiplying by seconds here, if this is in amps and this is in seconds, we multiply those two, we cancel out and we get coulombs. So there, our charge for this particular circuit is 54 coulombs.